Hello, this is Mindy from The Weekend Gardener, and today I have a gardening tip. Have you ever walked out in your yard and seen a scene like this with all these leaves and wondered what am I going to do? One approach is people just leave the leaves whole on the ground. While that does save you some labor and time, what will eventually happen is the grass underneath the leaves will die. So that's not a good approach to even consider. Another approach is some people actually rake the leaves up, which is another good approach, but a whole leaf takes longer to decompose than one that has been shredded. Another approach would be to use a mulching lawn mower. And I'm going to talk about in this video raking versus mulching and some alternative uses that you can use for your leaves versus throwing them in the trash. Now, raking requires a lot of manpower and keeps the leaves whole, which as I've stated before, takes the leaves a lot longer to decompose than if they're shredded. But, if you rake your leaves and you place them in a plastic bag, which you can find in many, many stores in this time of year that are shaped like pumpkins and etc., that is a great use for that type of leaf. It doesn't take as many leaves to fill those decorative bags. But, a better approach is to use a mulching lawn mower. Now, a mulching lawn mower can be used with or without the bag, and what it does is it chews up those leaves so that those leaves decompose quicker. It actually gets the leaves off the surface of the ground and makes them small enough that when it rains and etc., those mulch leaves will percolate down until they make contact with the soil. Using this approach will not kill your grass and will provide carbon as a fertilizer next spring as the leaves break down. Now, if you use the bag on your mulching lawnmower, you can use those mulched leaves in the plastic bags as I stated before. But because they're chopped, you take a lot more leaves to fill those decorative bags. But what do you do with those bag leaves after the season? Don't put them in your trash can, cut them by your recycling bin. And you may ask why. For compost to decompose properly, you need a proper carbon and nitrogen ratio. In the spring and summer, you have plenty of green material which provides the nitrogen, but you're lacking a lot of times the carbon. In the fall, the reverse is true. So these mulch leaves can provide that carbon element that a lot of composting bins lack. Also, any time throughout the season that you add kitchen scraps to your compost, you need to always make sure to bury it and or cover it with some type of mulch material. And that can be shredded newspaper, or in this example, it can be shredded up leaves. Now, what I would suggest is put those decorative bags right by your composting bin, and any time you add those kitchen scraps, just reach your hand in those bags and sprinkle a handful of your shredded leaves. This will speed up the decomposition of your leaves and your compost. So give this gardening tip a try. One thing I would like to know, though, regardless of what you do, don't ever put your leaves in the trash can. That fills up our landfills. If you have to dispose of your leaves in some form or fashion, make sure that you contact your local composting facility, and that way they can handle your shredded leaves properly. So until we meet in the garden again, this has been Mindy from The Weekend Gardener.